Ladies and gentlemen, more cores. Intel and AMD do seem to be very much locked into a core count war at the moment, and it's very interesting indeed. The next generation of Intel processors, known as Nova Lake, is going to bump things up to 52 cores, albeit the performance cores don't sport SMT, but it's also bolstered by a host of E cores and a couple of LP cores. We've spoken about Nova Lake quite extensively in the past, but... I will be extremely interested to see what Intel brings to the table, and it's going to be absolutely fascinating to see how multi-threading performance, uh, single-thread performance, and gaming performance differs versus the next generation of Ryzen, particularly given the latest rumors that we're going to see two cache tiles, where previously it was only 144 megabytes for one. Allegedly, Intel are changing this around, and it's going to be two cache tiles. And... Um, of course, with Zen 6, 24 cores, 48 threads, and that's going to be on the AM5 platform. There will be a host of changes, of course, to improve performance, like APC gain, changes to the IOD, and so on. But now the rumor is that Zen 7 will also be on AM5. <laughs> I find this really intriguing. Uh, and you'll see why. And this is a little bit of a convoluted story, so do stick with me here. So Moore's Law is Dead, just a couple of days ago, uh, released a video, and he basically said that 32 cores is going to be the new target for the mainstream, and AMD will be releasing Zen 7 with this core count on AM5. And I find this really interesting, because... Um, at the end of July, I actually received some information from one of my sources, and they're actually a really pretty damn good source, and they actually told me pretty much the same thing. AM5, Zen 7, AMD would not be bringing um, Zen 7 to AM6. But at the time, and you guys probably know this if you're a regular viewer of the channel, and if so, thanks very much, and if not, subscribe, click the button. You'll get a cookie. Well, not a literal cookie, but, you know, an internet browser cookie. And that's the same thing, right? Um, basically, uh, obviously, I was going through the whole, you know, isolitis thing. But um, there was also an interesting report from Bits and Chips. And uh, <laughs> I was like, well, maybe actually that information isn't correct. Because um, they were uh, targeting one patents and two they allegedly had some uh, insider information that zen 7 would be shifting to the am6 platform am6 would increase the pin count however the physical dimensions would be identical so if you had a cooler which is am5 compatible it would work on am6 with the caveats of course whether it can or like you know the heat and all that stuff um but also it would bring and uh, new technologies such as adopting DDR6 and uh, PCIe6 and so on and so forth. So that was pretty cool. And I was like, well, maybe that does make some sense. I, you know, the timings around that point are going to be very interesting because DDR6 is going to start becoming available. But you could make an argument potentially that DDR6 is going to be really expensive. And so therefore, maybe AMD would want to prioritize and vendors in general. Uh, would think, well, it may not be actually affordable for most customers, and therefore it's better to shift this to um, server initially, and we will stick to AM5 right now. So at this point, again, Tom is saying that it will be on, um, sorry, Zen 7 will be on the AM5 platform. One of my really good sources told me it's going to be on AM5 platform. However, Bits and Chips is also a pretty good track record. One way I can see that could potentially make both of these correct is that we will see some processors on AM5 and some processors on AM6. Now, I honestly don't know at this point, so I'm going to let you guys discuss this in the comments. I'm reaching out to more sources at the moment, so I guess we'll wait and see on that. I'll be very curious. What I can tell you is that um, before I received this information, I don't know, like earlier this year, uh, a couple of people I spoke to said that they predicted it would be on AM5, that is N7, and the reason their prediction was is essentially the memory thing. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I'll be very interested if it is on AM5, what the performance is like. Now, Intel, to their credit, allegedly Novalay is going to actually, you know, their platform is not going to be around for five minutes. Um, and it's kind of it like platform longevity is a really interesting one because i think it's fantastic that let's let's just take am4 as an example if you were to have bought mm, 
let's say like a 3700X, you could have dropped in a 5800X 3D and you would have had yourself a really good gaming system across a couple of generations of processors, right? I think we can all agree that even now the 5800X 3D is damn competent. Like, sure, you're not going to get as many frames a second as, let's say, a 9800X 3D, fine, but... If you're running most games maxed out and your GPU is probably going to be the thing that's holding you back anyway. So that's the thing. Um, and I will be very interested to see how many people, you know, actually... I, I'll, maybe I'll do a survey or something like that. Um, let me know in the comments. Do you... I, I'm very curious. How long do you keep a platform for? Um, and also, if you've bought, let's say, AM5... Let's say you've bought AM4... Let's say, hypothetically, you bought one of the earlier generations of AM4. Did you keep your motherboard for multiple plat uh, multiple processor upgrades? And I, I know, I find it really interesting, <laughs> so I'll be very curious. Um, with that said, I also want to give you guys a couple of little tidbits for Zen 6 naming schemes. And um, I will stress, of course, that names can change at any time. But basically speaking, I'm being told that AMD are going to be changing the naming scheme. Now, I'm actually hoping that this is not going to happen because, quite frankly, I like the names of, like, the Ryzen 9, you know, 9950X3D or what have you. But, allegedly, AMD are going to stick AI in there. So, for example, it will be the Ryzen AI 9X or Ryzen AI 7X. And there's a couple of examples here um, that specifications aren't particularly new information we've known about this already of course uh obviously you will see variants depending on whether it's an x3d variant and so on and so forth yeah i will be very interested now allegedly expo 2 is the b950 and 970 exclusive and the room is of course that we're going to start to see these processes come out the, the um you know, end of uh, next year. I'll be very interested to see how Nova Lake does fair against Zen 6. <laughs> I, uh, I'll be very curious to see the gaming performance. That's all I'll say on that. Uh, one last thing, because I, I genuinely don't know where else I can stick this piece of news, so I'm just going to mention this real fast. And this is from Kepler L2. And um, I'll just read out the code here. GFX 12.5 only supports CU mode, which contains four SIMDs. And I won't read out the uh, code itself because, well, you know, it's kind of a pain in the asshole to read. But what does this mean? Well, most like GFX 12.5, by the way, uh, is, of course, well, you know, the AI chips from uh, from in amd so i'll be very interested because it does seem like the work group processor mode is going to be going bye bye and they're going to be shifting simply to compute units um so whether or not this does impact rdna5 we don't know at the moment again these are server related chips for cdna in other words so whether or not it does affect udna or rdna or what have you we simply don't know at this stage i'll be very curious however to see what RDNA 5 does look like in the end, as obviously it's going to slightly differ whether it's a gaming variant, whether it's going to be for the consoles, and of course, uh, let's say, for the data center. With that said, guys, I think that's just about it for this particular video. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. If you did, it's YouTube, so you know what to do. Do the whole liking and subscribing thing if you've not already, and I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. <laughs>